Do you want a sound check? Mary had a little lamb. The doctor was surprised. I can't get a joke out of him. I'm going to be talking about the symbol W. W is for work, and I'm going to consider changes in work in a rubber band. So I'm going to imagine that I can make a machine out of a rubber band. And the question is, if I add heat to a rubber band, does it expand? Or does it contract? Let me show you my contraption. It's this wonderful piece of apparatus here. As described in this glorious textbook with a diagram showing a hairdryer, a pivot, a rubber band, and a meter ruler. Only I've done it the other way. And this is a very good book written by somebody not a million miles away from me. Is that, is that your textbook? Yeah, and that's my wife. We wrote it together. Anyway. Hang on. How much do you get every time someone buys one of About them? 50p. So you're here trying to flog this on 60 cents. Yeah, it's not, not worth it, is it? <laughs> what I'm going to do is put this rubber band under tension, and I've got this industrial heater, which will heat up. I can show you, well, no, I'm not going to show you that it works, but I'll get it on your arms. Is it, is it hot? That, I can confirm that it's hot. Now, I'm going to put it on the rubber band, and as a result of that, this will move. Do you expect it to expand or contract? I would expect a rubber band, when it was heated, to expand yes i do okay let's see what happens as it heats up the rubber band you can see contracts and there it goes way up to the top if i can get it there and you can see that the rubber band in effect has contracted and this pulling on the rubber band has done work on my little figure of Robin Hood and made him rise up. So I've actually done work on him to raise him up. If I take him off or if, if I put him on there, it'll come down again. Ah, maybe like Brady, you expected whenever you heat anything, it expands because that's what happens to normal things like metals. If you take a metal rod, heat it up, it will move, expand. And that's normally what happens. But under these circumstances of having a rubber band, a rubber band is not like a metal. A rubber band is made of long polymer molecules, all stretched out, matted together, but they are long molecules. So if you pull this, these long twisted molecules which are tangled up tend to get straightened out. I can explain it better by getting a bit of my wife's wool. When I started the experiment, the rubber band was taut rather like this. It was stretched out. And now if I heat it up, it gets more disordered. It wants to become more jumbled up like that. And as it becomes more jumbled up, it contracts. This is when it's stretched out. This is when it's jumbled up. Why did the hairdryer make it want to become more jumbled up? Well, this is this crazy concept of disorder related to entropy. The hairdryer puts heat in. This raises the disorder of the system. And instead of having it all in a nice straight line, it wants to go into a more crinkly, screwed up configuration. And because of this entanglement, the ends get closer together. And therefore, the whole thing shrinks. And this is totally counterintuitive. You would have thought, heat something up, it's going to expand. No, this is going to contract and it's going to do work, and it's going to pull the thing up. So you can convert heat directly into work in this particular experiment. And it's totally counterintuitive. I had this vision, you see, that you could have a little man sitting on there, and then it would rise up, and I could get him to come off, and then it would go down again, and then I could heat it up again, and another man would come up here. And I'd invent a perpetual means of lifting people up from one level to another. Why didn't you do that in the video? Because uh, the man is too heavy. If I'd done it in the video, I'd had to put on a tiny little cap like that. And then it wouldn't actually break and fall down. And I can now do it with the cap. And the cap will go up to the top. And then I can take the cap off. And let it sink down. As I take off this thing and that cools down. And then I can get another little man and do the same thing. It's not and quite as impressive with just a cat, though, is it? I know, but the concept is there that this is a machine working in a cycle. I can heat up this, it contracts, it goes up, I let it cool down, it goes down again. I can do some work on an object, and this is the most inefficient, fanciful, fey machine that you could ever imagine. So that's not how elevators work? No, no, this is just my strange imagination working. <laughs> okay, uh, uh.